Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have another fun festive holiday video for you. It's seven easy steps to setting up the perfect holiday table. I love to host and set up the perfect ambiance for dinner parties. Back when we actually had guests over pre-COVID, I would set up these elaborate dinner parties and deck the table out into whatever theme was fitting for the evening. I've designed a Havana Nights theme before, a masquerade theme party. And you might remember last year's classic Christmas theme with brass details, buffalo plaid patterns over a modern matte gray place setting and everything came from one quick target run. Even though Christmas will be super low key this year considering all things COVID, that doesn't mean I won't be putting my stamp on the table. Even if it's just for myself, my husband and the baby. If you love setting up an intimate dinner party for the holidays, Christmas, or even a random Tuesday, check out this guy for all of my tips. Step one is to choose a theme. Pinterest is a place for you to get lost in all of the gorgeous interiors, inspired tablescapes, and an abundance of themes. But my advice is to work with what you've got. Ransack your buffet, your cabinets, your storage, garage, and pull everything that you'll need to get your tablescape going. Judging from what I found in my own home, it looks like we're going for a rustic, foresty, bohemian, glam type of vibe. I mean, is that even a thing? Well, it is now. Step two is to select a neutral table linen. Table linens immediately indicate an elevated meal. It's cozier and more inviting than a bare table. I like to keep an assortment of white, black, and neutral tan table linens in my inventory to change up the vibe according to the theme. This holiday, I'm going for a bright and airy vibe, so I'll start with a white cloth and layer accordingly. The white cloth that I already had in my inventory was a little bit stained from like previous parties, but with an extra layer of sheer organza right on top, no one will know the difference. Step three, create a centerpiece using Christmas decor and foliage. I have cypress trees growing right outside my driveway and a ton of outdoor plants for this tip. It's all about foraging right from your yard, your neighborhood, or even the nearest park. This is the best way to save money, time, and effort. But of course, you can always stop by your local florist or craft store to find seasonal foliage. Create a centerpiece using an empty glass vase that you can fill up with holiday ornaments, decorative pine cones, or whatever fits your desired theme. If you want to make the centerpiece stand out, opt for a contrasting table runner above the tablecloth. This runner will act as your visual guideline for placing the centerpiece and its parts. Place your vase at the center of the table and spread the foliage across the table on both ends. The longer your table, the more central pieces you should have with scatters in between. Evergreen, pine cones, cypress, and eucalyptus works beautifully for Christmas tables. Step 
Step four, coordinate your place settings according to your theme. Something about brass and gold that really just screams holiday to me. I've had these bone inlay anthropology brass cutlery sets in storage and I forgot all about them until I started rummaging today. The entire theme of the table was centered around this set. I've never used them before because we usually host dinner parties for about 8, 10, to 12 people. Christmas is the perfect occasion for them to finally see the light. Every home should have simple white dinner plates. It's a perfect basic base for you to start layering your plateware. Luckily, I had four of these gold trim plates as well, so I'll be using these today. I like to layer my place settings, starting with a dinner plate, then a salad plate, before laying down textured linen napkins in a decorative napkin ring. If your style is a little bit more formal, you can also add a charger underneath the dinner plate. Step five is to add a linen napkin adorned with a napkin ring. I love natural linen colored napkins since they give a little variety to the white plates but with just enough of a visual difference to allow some contrast. Again, when you have a neutral base, you can pair it with anything on top and it will always coordinate. I had these agate napkin rings from Home Goods in storage and I'm loving the boho luxe vibe that is slowly emerging. It feels earthy, organic, but still bright and airy for the mood I'm going for this year. Step six is to create intimate lighting with candles and fairy lights. You cannot dress a holiday table without candlelight. I mean, that is tablescaping 101. Fairy lights are a bonus since it's just so festive come Christmas time. Everyone looks good in candlelight and your holiday photos will look way more festive with the glow of twinkle lights in the background. Especially at nighttime when the lights are dim and the candles are flickering, this combination of candles with fairy lights feels like pure Christmas magic. Make sure you choose a battery operated fairy light pack so there's no unsightly cords dangling everywhere. Somehow candles make the food taste better, the wine go down faster, and in the evening, the ambiance much more intimate. Never ever dress a table with scented candles. You want the only aroma to be coming from the delicious food, not your sugared snickerdoodle three wick candle from Bath & Body Works. And the final step is to add those Christmas extras. Now for the finishing touch. Ransack your gift station, your Christmas tree, your holiday decor for extra details to add to the table. Think metallics, shimmery surfaces, mercury glass, more ornaments. The more you borrow from your existing decor, the more the tablescape will feel like it's a part of the mix. Learning the basics of tablescaping will allow you to reuse the same elements year round. If I remove the cypress, the pine cone, the fairy lights, and the heavy linen, this table really could work year round. Think about how you can amp up your everyday interior style and bring that Christmas magic to your table. Dressing a table gets really addicting once you understand the basics.
It's time for you to get creative and see how you can visually design the look of a room simply with the table setting. Who knows, you might really enjoy yourself and build momentum to start tackling the other parts of your home that need a little more love. I hope you guys got some really great inspiration for dressing up your table this holiday season. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of holiday content. Comment below and let me know if you can share any cool tips on how you set up a holiday table. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Happy holidays! I hope you're staying safe, healthy, and warm out there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.